Hey everyone, Chen Henry here from School of Trade, and today we're going to be taking a look at a short trade here on the Russell. Uh, essentially just a spike and ledge pattern that we're looking at right now. Let me get my stop in place up here. Four contracts. So we're short four contracts, 1233.7. Stop is at 34.8. Uh, so nice little small stop there. First target coming off with a failure back underneath this range down to the expansion level, uh, which is about 32.8. Two, I like it at 32.3, so I got my target there. And then if it continues down past that, we've got our second target at 31.3. You could alternatively split this last one right here into, you know, maybe one off there and then one off at the final one down here. Uh, you know, you could even maybe find one in the middle there. But in reality, I mean, when you're looking to the downside like this, you've got to expect maybe one or two standard deviations outside of this, but that's really about it. Um, but, you know, then again, we did have this monster rise higher too, so there's nothing stopping it. Uh, so feel free to add a runner on here if you'd like. I'm going to be taking off two at the first contract. Uh, I'm sorry, at the first target. That'll give us two off at 14, so 28. And then we're looking at two more off down a little bit farther down at 24, so it'll give us 48 on the final one. Uh, so overall, I have the chance to get a pretty nice trade out of this one. Uh, 76 ticks potentially at least if we start breaking down. Uh, now, this is a five minute chart, so we may take a little bit of time for this breakdown to actually happen. Uh, but you know, overall it's looking pretty good. We had this really strong move on the open and it was immediately rejected right back up. And typically when you get that fast of a rejection, it's usually gonna try to make some of it back. Now remember, I mean, keep in mind, really all we're playing is just some profit taking. Anyone who bought down here is gonna be taking all of their money off right now, especially when it gets chopped up like this. So we when you're looking at something like this, you've just got to anticipate it may not fall all the way down, but they're going to take profit up here. Uh, and if we start seeing a failure, especially underneath these lows at 33.2, we've got a pretty good chance to get that target down there at 32.3 met, and then maybe a little bit farther to the next one too. So uh, sitting in, waiting for it, uh, may take a little bit of time again, but overall looking for the first target at 32.3. All right, we're coming one tick away from our target here, almost pushed down underneath it. We're starting to break this EMA down a little bit here. See if they can get that filled. If they can get that filled, then we'll move our stop to break even plus a little bit here. Uh, I do really love the fact that it came back and tested the bottom end of this consolidation is now failing off again. That adds even more uh, kind of resistance to that 33.2. You can see that little wick right there uh, that formed came down popped up, hit it, and then came right back down again. That's a beautiful rejection off that level. Uh, so we've got our target filled. Let's get our stop down to two contracts, get this down to break even. Uh, and now we're sitting in a really good position. So now we're just looking for a little bit of continued pressure to the downside. See if we can hit that level. 31.3 uh, is the next target, taking two off there. Uh, again, if we can hit that one, then we're looking at about 24 ticks on that final one. Uh, you, I mean, looking at the overall ticks on these trades, you can see it's not that much. And that's really just because the range on the day isn't that high. I mean, it's only gone 100 ticks today. Uh, it's it's past 11 o'clock now. You know, we should see a little bit more uh, than that typically. But, you know, with a little bit more of a sideways day like this, you're just kind of fading the highs, fading the lows, and just kind of playing it back and forth. Uh, so overall, setting up really, really nice. You got that first target taken off, uh, two off at 14. So we got 280 bucks locked in. Now we're just looking for that final push down to the final target. <laughs> All right, coming one tick away from our target here, right? One tick, four, three, yep. Yeah, so coming one tick away from our target here. Because of that, uh, I don't want to give this any room to come back. So I'm going to lock my stop in at 32.6. Uh, and that way we lock out any potential where it may reverse, come one tick away, you know, and then pop right back up and stop us out. We don't want to deal with that. Uh, so locking our stop in a little bit more. If it does come back and stop us out with our stop, uh, then we're looking at a total of 12 ticks on the trade. But outside of that, we should be looking relatively good. You can see there's a lot of strength coming in uh, once we cracked underneath that EMA and back kind of underneath this previous swing uh, over here around 32.4, now that we've broken back underneath that, we're getting a lot more selling pressure coming in. There still is going to be support through here, okay? So keep that in mind. This is the last time that we had any type of uh, kind of bouncing was all through this level, and we're coming right back into that level once more. Uh, so don't be too surprised if we get a little bit of a bounce here. I'm hoping that it comes down, fills us first, and then bounces. Uh, but that may also give you an opportunity if it wants to come back up to this low side here. We've already seen it hold several times, you may be able to sell it again, uh, depending on how high it comes up. So that 33.2 area is going to be of quite a bit of interest. Uh, it looks like we're getting another attempt down at the low side, getting the shift. There we go. Perfect. So we got that target filled. Beautiful move to the downside. It, just a gorgeous play on, on just a really just a spike higher and then taking some profit. It, technically, spike and ledge. Uh, but really, that's kind of what's happening. You know, you get all these buyers down here after that big fade, pushes all the way back up. The sellers start getting stopped out. They reverse. They hop in push it all the way up. Everyone starts taking profit when it gets
gets consolidated up here, and then you get this little bit of a fade. So a beautiful little trade. Uh, overall, 76 ticks on the trade, two off at 14, uh, and then two off at 24. Uh, so 760 bucks. If you have any questions about it, feel free to send an email to School of Trade. Go over to check out our trial at schooloftrade.com, and as always, we'll catch you next time.